Good morning, gorgeous. So I just finished my high intensity interval training, my HIT workout for the day. I'm gonna be doing these three times a week. I'm gonna make sure I'm separating them from my leg days because I don't want to do HIT anywhere close to my leg day. Um, so tomorrow is leg day for me, so my legs have been nice and well rested. I haven't done legs in two days. So that's why I chose to do HIT today instead of doing it on like the day after leg day because that would just be awful and I don't want to make HIT any more torturous than it has to be. So this morning for HIT I did, I used my Beach Body On Demand, I did Insanity in uh, the Asylum. Insanity the Asylum is amazing, it's so much fun, it is using the agility ladder and the jump rope a lot so it's really great for HIT. I definitely shortened the workout though, I didn't do a full on workout with Insanity, a lot of their workouts are like 45 minutes to an hour and I don't need to do that much so I just did about 15 minutes of HIT instead of doing the full on workout. My weight this morning was 111 even, so I'm down from 111.8 on Monday, and today is only Wednesday, so I feel like my macros are probably in the right place. I'm going to reevaluate them in um, at the end of two weeks into this prep and see how I'm doing with them, see if I can maybe up my carbs and still be able to drop weight, drop fat, but and I've had a couple questions uh, regarding like why my macros are what they are. So my height is five foot and I'm breastfeeding so I wanted to make sure that my calories were about 1400 to 1500. And what I did is I just put the that calorie range into my fitness pal and you can change your percentages of each macro. So what I did is I put my protein at 45%, my carbohydrates at 25% and my fats at 30. There is somewhat of a science to that. So if you are having a diet that is high in protein and low in carbohydrates, you're going to burn fat and still be able to preserve muscle because you're eating a lot of protein. If you are wanting to build muscle, you would think that you would need to up your protein, but actually you need to up your carbohydrates. Um, so right now, because I'm not trying to build muscle necessarily, I'm trying to lose fat, I have my carbs lower and my protein high. With that being said, I think it's working. Obviously, I'm down from 0.8 pounds from in two days, so we'll see how it goes after two weeks. If I can up my carbohydrates, I'm hoping I can, because I've been really tired. And carbohydrates are how you get your energy. So I would really like to have that again. But yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Today's an arm day, so. I'm gonna go upstairs and eat a little bit of breakfast and yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Breakfast this morning, delicious. I already had one of my pieces of Canadian bacon. It's really, really good. Really low in fat and carbs, but high in protein. Got 200 grams of egg whites, one piece of Ezekiel bread, still a little, little bit of um, almond butter and some delicious coffee.
So I just got home from the gym and making myself a little post-workout meal. So I already had my Shakeology and it's been a little while and I'm hungry again. So I made myself a nice little chicken bowl. And what I got in here is about two and a half ounces of chicken because that's the last bit of the cooked chicken that we already have. Otherwise I would have done more. Um, one ounce of quinoa. And then I've got one ounce of organic kefir. Uh, kefir is basically like a um, really potent yogurt. It's got a lot more probiotics than yogurt does. Just put a little bit in there, only one ounce to make it like nice and creamy and tasty. And then I use some Sky Valley Sriracha because it's like a, it's like a cleaner version of Sriracha, no preservatives. And then a little bit of spicy brown mustard, yummy. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour de fridge for a fridge that will set you up for success. Huge thing that you wanna have is making sure you're getting enough really good greens for your veggies. So baby spinach is really gonna help you with that. Yeah, tomatoes are a great thing to have. Here we've got a whole thing of quinoa made up. All this is kefir. It is very similar to yogurt, only it has a lot more probiotics than yogurt does. For myself, I love to use canned coconut milk for my coffee, so I, I have coconut cream here. Another huge thing that will set you up for success is egg whites. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing for everything. They're so easy to use without having to crack a bunch of eggs. You can just have them in the carton. Um, this is why I love Costco so much, because you can get a big thing of six of these for like five or six dollars. And here we have sweet potatoes. When we, use, when we make these, we usually bake them because it brings out this amazing, amazing, sweet, so sweet flavor. They are seriously like eating candy. There's cilantro here, the little baby romaines. These are great if you make up like a chicken salad. And these are at Costco. Sorry guys, there's a lot of stuff in, from Costco in here. So if you have a Costco membership, it's gonna help you out a lot. But we use these as like little boats for chicken salads or tuna salad. It's a really great way to utilize those. There's some asparagus down in here as well. And uh, let me show you the outside fridge. Yes, we have two fridges in this house because we go through so much food. Outside fridge action. Okay. Outside fridge has got a lot going on out here too. We have chicken tenderloins. These are so great and so easy to just like throw into the frying pan and fry up. If you want to make like fajitas or something, you can add in some onions and some peppers. Um, here's Costco's chicken breast. Really just, no matter where you're getting your, your protein and your meats from, just stock up on chicken breast or chicken tenderloin. And then we've got more eggs out here. Hard boil those up if you want a really quick and easy snack. This is like my favorite. This seven superfoods um, broccoli salad mix. It is so tasty. You're fine. And then more asparagus, more almond milk. Um, there's the box of egg whites because we go through so many egg whites. Now this is what I really wanted to show you guys these bad boys the french beans from costco i think how you make these is you just make a slit in your the package of this entire thing and you cook it in the microwave for eight minutes just leave it in the packaging and it steams it to absolute perfection you don't need to put anything on these to flavor them and they literally taste like you put butter on them oh my gosh they're so so good and then later today, we will probably cook up this entire bag of broccoli just about in um, in the oven and bake it all up. So I take back what I said about these needing to cook for eight minutes. They need to cook for five. So I've cut off the corner here and I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for five minutes. While the beans are cooking, I'm gonna put, or turn on the oven so it preheats. We got it at 425. I'm gonna get that going. And then we're gonna start with the asparagus, we're gonna roast up some of that. We're gonna roast some of the broccoli. And then while all that is cooking, I'm going to take the chicken tenderloins and um, cook them in the frying pan. I've got the frying pan heating up right now. Our pan of asparagus and broccoli ready. I just put the teeniest, tiniest little bit of avocado oil spray 
down on top and did a little bit of garlic salt. And the asparagus is gonna cook for six minutes and then we'll let the broccoli cook a little bit longer until it gets kind of goldeny brown. When it gets that little bit of goldeny brown, it kind of brings out a little bit more flavor. So it should be delicious. So the string beans sat in the microwave and just kind of steamed up for a minute after they finished cooking. Now we have them out on the counter with some paper towels, kind of soaking up the rest of the moisture. So we got chicken tenders here with a little bit of chili powder. We got um, the chili powder right here and the garlic salt right here. And then those are cooking up. We're getting ready to start on some cauliflower rice and the oven is still preheating, it's probably about done. We'll get started on the potatoes and the green veggies. Six minutes going for the asparagus, then we'll pull out the asparagus and let the um, broccoli cook just a little bit longer. I'm about to get the potatoes ready to go so we can cook those up. So we, we cubed up a little bit of cauliflower here and put it in the microwave for about eight minutes with the cover on top. Just depending on how big your head of cauliflower is or how powerful your microwave is, just cook it until it is cooked all the way through. But still a little bit hard, not mushy. So the potatoes are done, cut in half, cooled, and now we add a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cardamom. And hi, baby. He woke up from his nap. So... We made some of this amazing cauliflower rice with um, the cauliflower that we steamed up, put it in a food processor, added some green onion and some spices like salt, pepper, garlic salt. And that's gonna be delicious, especially for me who can't have a whole lot of rice right now. And then we have spaghetti squash. You could just like a spaghetti squash. If you don't know how to cook it, I would Google it. Google knows all. And now we've got pretty much everything just like ready to go. Um, I don't have my stuff portioned out right now because I'm waiting for more of these nifty black portion control, or not portion control, but the portion Tupperware to come in the mail. I'll see, I don't even have any to show you. But yeah, that's how we're doing it. guys just finished up with day three I am having my very last meal of the day and it is cytosport um, chocolate whey protein from Costco with 10 grams of almond butter and some ice oh my god it tastes like heaven right now um, I went way over on my proteins today not even gonna lie but I was quite a ways under on my carbohydrates and I was dead on with my fat so I figure if anything I'm gonna go over it's okay to go over on protein right Zach is it okay to go over on protein look at my abs <laughs> So yeah, that was my day today. It went really well, crushed it with arms, feeling really good. I'm excited to see what the scale says tomorrow, especially with going over so much on my protein. But yeah, feeling really good. About to get on a call with my team right now, talk to them about building their business. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.